So GTD, or getting things done, is more of a philosophy of how you can shape and get things done with your system, so I haven't built my system specifically for GTD. However, there are lots of elements of my system that actually encompass GTD in there, so what I'm going to do in this video is show how GTD is in my system, but it wasn't deliberately put in. For those of you unfamiliar with the GTD idea, philosophy, methodology, it has been expanded in lots of different ways, but the first part of GTD is capturing, and that could be capturing an email, capturing a blog, capturing a YouTube video, article, any ideas, or anything that comes to mind, and you can capture it and put it somewhere. For those of you familiar with Tiago Forte's work on the second brain, he would suggest you would capture that information and put it into your second brain, and in this case, I'm using Notion. And the capturing process in my system is my notes and ideas database. So everything that I capture, so that could be any idea, any blog post, any email, any of those things that I would want to capture and store for some reason will go into my notes and ideas database. That way I can then sort it all later and I don't have to think about it there and then. Now the idea behind having it all in one place means that I can capture information and I can put it somewhere so I don't forget it later on. And that kind of moves me on to the second part of this GTD system. So once you've captured the information, so you've written it down so you're not going to forget it, you then have a process to ask essentially whether it's actionable information. Now this view on my dashboard of my notes database is my capture, it is my inbox of information, whether they are notes, ideas, anything like that. And then my process of asking myself, is this actionable? How is this actionable? That is where the templates can come in. Now some of these things may be tasks, and if they are tasks that are not actionable right now or are low priority, they'll go in my task database with a question mark. So they may be things that I want to do, but I'm not going to action them right now, so I can sort them for later. And all the other emojis have a context on those tasks, and that's something else that I'll go over later, but they are tasks that have a context and a due date for them, so they are higher priority. So once I've captured information, ideas and things like that, and I'm processing them, I will process them and put them into my task database. And they will then get a date, they will be assigned a project, or there will be a project related to them, or a person related to them, which then gives the action, i.e. the task, a context. So there is a reason for doing the task rather than just having it there. So looking at those brand new notes I bring in, depending on the template I give them, so the context I give them, the area that I tag them with, will then make that idea show up in the appropriate space. In this example, the new idea went to blogging. So it will go at the bottom of my blogging ideas, and then I can organize, which is the third step. So I've captured, I've processed, and now I'm organizing that note. So I've put a date on the note, to then organize it for the task or the project that I want that note idea to be related to or to start me doing. So as you can see, inside the note, I have a linked view of my projects database. And what that allows me to do is turn that note from organizing a note into an actionable task or actionable project that I'm going to do. So for this example, what I would do is I would create a project that's related to this note, so I can go back to the note if need be when I'm working on the project. But this is where I can turn that idea into actionable things that I can do and I can actually change my behavior around. So if I go into my projects dashboard, you can see I have active projects. And all of these projects were triggered by ideas, but these projects are actions, whereas ideas are just thoughts that I've captured. Now, when you look at the templates, the templates of the project's database all refer to a different context that the ideas have come from. So when I scroll down to my calendar, you can see I have different emojis for the different context of those projects. You can see I have the blogging context and it has a due date for the project. So I have a time associated with the project. 
Then I have my area tags, content marketing and blogging. So I have a context, or I have two contexts in this case, associated with the actionable project task. Now, if I go into a YouTube context, you can see the project, the actionable task has a due date and it's associated with YouTube and content marketing. So there is a context put on the action. The same thing, if I go into my dissertation, I have a due date, which in this case is actually the due date of the assignment. And then I have a context, which is resources. That's the name of the area that I've given as a context. Now, when it comes to the progress, the progress actually helps me to understand the next action. So what is the next thing I need to do to get this project done? And you can see the colors are actually in like a traffic like system. So green being done, green tick being done and red cross being haven't started. So I have a next action for every project, which is a task. And that task then shows on my main dashboard. If I go into YouTube, which in the GTD sense is a context, not an area, you can see I have my projects with all of the progress and then I have my tasks and the tasks are context related and there is a time associated to them. If I was to go into one of these projects, I have all of my tasks. So the actions, they are related to the project. So I have my next actions already related to my projects. I then have a couple of roll-ups and formulas so I can see how many tasks I've done, how many tasks there are, and how many tasks I have left to do. So I know my next actions, I know how many next actions I have, and I know why I'm doing them because they're related to the project, and I know the area they're related to, i.e. the context they are in. Moving on to the next stage of the GTD philosophy or methodology is the review section. So reviewing the actions, reviewing the tasks, reviewing your alignment essentially of what you're doing. So are the actions, the projects, the tasks that you're doing aligned to the overall targets, goals, dreams of what you want to be doing? And for me, how I do this is all of the contexts, i.e. the areas that I'm working towards, learning about or anything like that are in a database in Notion. And then I have a review property. And what this allows me to do is I can add a frequency to the context, a last review date, and then I can make sure that I'm reviewing each context each area at a certain frequency from certain time so that I can make sure that none of my alignment is off. So when I do go into any of those areas, I can check and see, am I on task? Am I focused on what I want to get done? Or actually, are my goals changing? Are my dreams changing? Are things that I want to do shifting or changing? And if they are, I can then change my tasks, my projects, or my goals or alignment appropriately. Now, the journey of going from capture, process, organize and review all comes down to how you then engage with those small actions to get you doing something. And that is what my dashboard is for. My dashboard is fully focused on engaging. So I have my task list right in front of me. I then have my capture to the right of me so I can engage with the tasks that I need to do on my dashboard. And I can also engage with the new capture process on my dashboard, in my notes database. So I have both ends of the GTD spectrum exactly where I need it to be all the time. So if I need to review anything, I can see it in my daily reminders. If I need to capture anything, it is there in my notes database. And when I need to engage with things, i.e. when I need to actually do something, which is every day, it is right there on my dashboard. So I don't have to go anywhere, which makes my system quick, convenient, and organized, which summarizes GTD. If you're interested to learn more about my system, make sure you check out this video over here and I'll see you there.